Well, I think the major benefit for, um, besides entertainment value, because we've got a lot of different kinds of entertainment people can do, and it's very creative, um, I think the main thing is for nonprofit organizations to get word about, out about services that they offer to the community um, and things that they do for the, their clients and in different ways. And I've done several different shows in that vein. I did a, a Big Brothers Big Sisters show. Uh, I did a Recycle This about recycling in when we got curbside recycling started in Michigan, in Midland. So there are many different facets, I think, of, of information and um, that you can get out to the public. And that's a big help to the community. local public access facility gives you the opportunity to engage your community with your own television show. The content on our Community Voices channel ranges from talk shows, variety hours, and nonprofit informational specials. With the power of video continuing to gain steam, there's no better facility to produce your own content. Check out the City of Midland website or give us a call for more information. The sooner you do, the sooner you can make your own show. You are looking live at H.H. Dow High School as we welcome you to MCTV's coverage of high school volleyball as the Midland High Kimmicks make the trip across town to take on the Dow High Chargers. And a great night for volleyball alongside Travis McCurdy. My name is Jason Harper and Travis tonight. It's the city championship when it comes to volleyball. The Kimmicks and the Chargers, both first year coaches, although for Midland High, Coach Angela McMath, a veteran coach, have coached at Midland High in the past, but technically returning this year for her first year. Allie Taylor over at Dow High, her first year as varsity head coach, and we've got all the making for what should be a great volleyball matchup. Yeah, it's a, just a great time to get ready for the postseason. There's so much on the line tonight, Jason. You know, it's senior day for Dow. It's their final match before postseason for both teams, and obviously it's a senior, it's the city championship, so two, a lot of big matches, a lot, lot of big matches leading up to this, but obviously this is one that everybody circles before this year starts. Well, it's capping off what has been, a, of course, a wild and wacky uh, 2020 fall sport season. When these two teams started practicing, they had to practice outdoors. They didn't know if they would have a volleyball season. They were unsure what was going on back in August. They were practicing you know, on the uh, tennis courts at Northeast and down at Emerson Park and outside, and they were practicing anywhere they could to prepare for the season. As it turns out, they've had a full season of volleyball, uh, you know, a little weird and, uh, you know, social distancing, limited crowds, but the big thing and the thing that everybody's happy about is they played the volleyball season. We got here, and I'm sure most of us weren't sure that was ever going to happen, so for us to get here and to get to watch this great match, it's just something that's really awesome, and we're really, really looking forward to it. Absolutely. Let's briefly talk about the Dow High Charger coming in with a 12 and 6 record under Allie Taylor. And this is a Dow High Charger team that likes to go up tempo. They like to keep things moving. Well, and that's, uh, it's one of those things that if you can do that, it's so effective. And it really is one of those things. The thing about teams like that at all, and it actually, uh, teams like that, I'm going to say every team. I think if you're a layman volleyball fan, you're just waiting to see the big hits and the big swings. It all starts with defense, like every sport. If, if you can get a great pass from your back row, your libero, your defensive specialist, 
you can go fast and you can get tempo up tempo going and it just makes you really really difficult to defend against on the other side for the midland high gimmick but angela mcmath they're more concerned about the mental aspect of the game there can angela says if we can stop the on fourth air we've got a chance yeah it really is one of those things like it seems like in volleyball once those airs start going it seems to be something that catches on with the whole team it can be really kind of like give yourself a limited chance for you to win by making a few mistakes in a row and all of a sudden you look up you're down by seven points we are glad you are with us here on mctv also streaming in high definition on youtube check out mctv community voices we are set to go with high school volleyball the midland high gimmicks and the hh dow high chargers ready to do battle let's turn things over to our public address announcer nick williams meet your chapters. Number one, Anna Shaw. Number two, Alexa Kleinis. Number three, Allie Miller. Number four, Taylor Hushke. Number five, Danny Wilson. Number six, Chica Cleary. Number seven, Dennis Coro. Number eight, Grace Miltello. Number nine, Alex Price. Number 10, Simone Burroughs. Number 11, Summer Luke. Number 12, Andy Ray. And number 14, Taryn Williams. Chargers are coached by Miss Ellie Taylor. The participants have been announced and we are ready to go with high school volleyball. The Dow High Chargers, the Midland High Gimmicks, Jason Harper, Travis McCurdy, and a great crew of MCTV staff and volunteers bringing you the action live from Dow High. 
here tonight. The Chargers in their home green uniform, gold numbering. Midland High wearing the blue and gold. If you take a look at Angela, Angela McMath returning as the Midland High coach. She has coached at Midland High in the past. She has coached at Northeast. In fact, she has coached most of these players when they played volleyball at the middle school level. And now she returns to coach them here at the high school level. Allie Taylor, she is a 2004 graduate from Gladwin, but no stranger to volleyball. She's helped out at Gladwin. There you see Coach Taylor. She has uh, coached around the area now getting the job here at Dow High, and she's done a great job with this Charger program. Yeah, it seems like they're a team that really is one of those ones that I think you can, can't sleep on at all going into postseason. Like, they've got capabilities of beating just about anybody in postseason. They match up with Mount Pleasant when uh, the districts get underway six days from now. Mount Pleasant defeated Dow just a couple of days ago, so Dow very eager to uh, to get into the postseason, but you can't overlook the Midland High Kimmich. Either that's that's what tonight really could be as much about, even though it's a state championship. It's as much to try and build some momentum going into postseason play as well. The Kimmich will serve to begin the action. Taylor Fanborn, the senior, puts the ball in play. From the outside, but the Kimmich's into the net for the Chargers will get the first point Set of this was volleyball game. Just a little tight on the net, and Schaefer kind of ran into the net as she was following through. A nice long fed and a good job there by Gabby Wilson just tipping it over the net. Yeah, that was a really nice tip there. You see that those attackers, the blockers come up so tight to the net and some really good passing off, some good swings from both sides. Senior captain Francesca Query puts the ball in play. Again, another nice volley, and again, Gaby Wilson comes through for the Chargers, getting it uh, right before that yellow line, and the Chargers build a three-point lead quickly. That was a really nice pass there by Wilson. That was a pretty, that was a good swing by Carpenter on the outside, but she was in good position, gave a perfect pass to the setter, and that's so much of how you get good points is great passes. Maybe a long serve may have been saved by Midland. Now the Chargers have been setting up Wilson on three consecutive plays from that left-hand side and Wilson getting the job done. Yeah, it's so tough to defend that angle like that when you got your blockers up front and you're just the way the court unfolds. If you can cut that angle like that, the court's going to be wide open. Hard to handle that hit from Midland High's Liv Carpenter and the Kimmicks will get the serve back in their first point of the game. Yeah, that's again, it all starts with that first pass off the serve and Carpenter got a great set and really her best swing of the night. The serve from Emily Gay now is long. That's so always tough, man. You get you, you give up the first four points and then you get that serve and then you serve it out. It's serving in volleyball is really one of those darned if you do, darned if you don't. Because if you don't, if you just lob it up there, they're going to really hammer it home. So you got to be aggressive with your serve, but then you get one out like that and it hurts. Volley scoring in uh, high school volleyball, so there's a point on every play, and the Kimmicks will get the serve back on the hit from Sydney Schaefer. Yeah, it was a good pass again by Tapero, right on the money, and a great set. And uh, good, get, uh, Midland kind of selling in a little bit after a shaky start here. Schaefer goes back to serve for the Kimmicks. Nice move there by Dow High on the front. Just tip that over. That's something that Midland High is, uh, has to be aware of because the Chargers like to do it. Yeah, and again, you, you, that's really good awareness by the attackers. It's just seeing what the defense is giving you. And if you see the open court like that, take advantage. Nice block by the Chargers. And the attempt to uh, dump it in by Midland. 
will end up long. So the Chargers building a five-point lead here just underway with high school volleyball. That's a tough one for Reckaway there. That set was a little wide, and then she's, she'll get the attack air on that. But that's when you go up, you're expecting that timing to be good and that set to be accurate. And if it's not, you're gonna you're kind of in no person's land there. The serve from Akaro goes into the net, so Midland High will get the point. It is eight to three in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Midland will have Liv Carpenter serve. She will shift over to her left hand side to serve the ball. The attempt at the kill goes wide, so advantage goes back to the Chargers. That's that same angle attack we've seen from Dow that's worked a couple of times, but uh, Sanborn had an angle there, but just it's hard to swing that hard and keep it that short when you're using that tight of an angle. Gabby Wilson just did not put quite enough on it, so back and forth we go here with uh, high school volleyball. Dow High leading Midland High 9-4 to four in the opening set. Nice dig. And a nice block by Chargers, keeping it alive, and a nice block by Midland. And a great volley won by the Midland High Chemex as Emily Gay now gets the kill. Yeah, that was really nice on both sides. Both players, like, setters, not outside hitters setting because the, they got out of a system there, and uh, both teams probably thought they were going to win that point, but Gay now got that last final swing there to give the point to Midland High. Another big block up and it drops through to the Midland High gimmicks, back to back points. Well, that was really well done by the middle there, number 13 for Midland High, Gaynow. She read that, it was a great pass, great set, great attack, but she read it properly and that's how you can get them out of transition. The attempt to keep it alive, no good for the Chargers will get the ball back it's a four point game nice little run by midland there for uh, back to back points now we'll see what the chargers do with alex price a sophomore serving it up that time i think that was query that uh, came up with the hit check a query she's one of the four seniors on this Dow High Charger team. If you don't really have anything going in the point, it's always smart to hit, hit deep to the corners because that didn't look like much, but deep to the corners can be tricky to handle. Chargers pick up another point to have a six point advantage. That's where you just, even though the, the just get out of whack a little bit, the first pass wasn't good, the set was okay, but then you're just out of whack and you miss an easy shot that probably should make. Good block up front. Kimmicks tried to tip it over. The Chargers will keep it alive. Free ball coming to Midland, but it's going to be out, so the Kimmicks will get the serve back. Yeah, that's a good job by Midland there. It kind of looked like they might have been in trouble on that point, too, but Sanborn put a good swing on it, kind of got Midland, they got Dow out of what they were trying to do. And then those free balls like that over the net, it can really be easy to lose track of where you are there. She's just trying to put the ball in the middle of the court, but she was actually outside the court, so it was just out. Olivia DePero will serve for Midland. And a nice job on the front of the line, Taylor Fanborn using her height to her advantage that time around. Oh, they, last second, they called her in the net. So oh, that's really? Gonna, yeah, that was a last second call Ooh. switcheroo by the up official there. Tough Ooh. call, Ooh. but he's got the best angle at it, so uh, tough break for Midland, though. 13-7, Dow of the Chargers serve. And a good block up front that time by Cheka Query. And the Midland High Chemics will call a timeout. Angela McMath says, let's talk things over. It's a seven point lead for the Dow High Chargers and Travis here in the early portion of this game. What stands votes to you? Well, it really is 
I think Dow was just a little sharper defensively. I think both teams have taken some nice swings, particularly from the outside and an occasional middle attack. But it, all it takes is just being off a little bit, that like that last block for Midland High. The attacker is the one that gets that air, but really it was the pass is a little off, the set's not quite on, and then the attacker has to kind of just barely get the ball over the net, and then you got two blockers there. Easy block for them. Well, here we are. We welcome you back to the broadcast booth live here on MCTV. Travis McCurdy and Jason Harper, glad to be with you on a fall of sports. Of course, we've had football. Girls golf is going to be on the network very soon. Girls swimming coming your way. And, of course, the MHSAA announcing that winter sports will be played as scheduled, which means basketball and hockey will be coming your way very soon here on MCTV. Very exciting. Glad to, so, as normal as we can be now, Jason. I've never been normal, but. That's uh, true. That's why as can be <laughs> is the right thing to say there. It's a good swing by Schaefer there on the outside. Those lefties can really kind of throw you off. You're so used to seeing that arm slot from the right side come through. And that lefty there, that was great attack. And again, back deep in the corner. Well done. Fanborn serve goes into the net for the Chargers. We'll get it back. We played a 25 in high school volleyball. It's the best three of five at the varsity level. Weary with the serve. With a little help from the net, Liv Carpenter will pick up the kill. And that's really, we've harped on it quite a bit early on, but that's, that's the difference between the perfect pass off the serve right there. That was a perfect pass off the serve. Allows the setter to be in the right spot. Great set, and then you, you get the kill. It's so important to get that good pass and good serve. But back-to-back -back serves by Midland have gone into the net, and that's something that McMath told us before we went on the air. On forced airs hurt yep, Midland. Yep, and it's, again, you don't want to just give them an easy serve over the net, but at times like this when you're kind of late in the set like this and you're down, you really want to make that other team be the one to beat you and not have yourself lose points by hitting in the net. Nice block. Back-to-back -back blocks by the Midland High Kimmich. Really good job by Midland there being physical at the net on back-to-back -back swings. And uh, Okoro was in a good spot, but the middles really read that well. You can tell they don't want, you don't want, the middle kill seems to really get it, can get a team going, because they have the chance to really get a big kill there. And they read that well, and back-to-back -back plays got the point. Was it in? It was not. No, no they, they did call it in. Yeah, just nipped the line here. It's tough from this angle to tell, but really good job again by Mid Midland showing some signs again here. They just got to string some points together. At least put the pressure on Dow here. 16 to 11. Dow leading by five. And that's the flip side of the aggressive serves. You're going to serve some in the net, but if you get those in, you're going to get some free points off it as well. And we've seen Mid uh, Dow, like they want to play in transition, they want to play fast, and that's why it's important to have some good serving against a team like that. Sydney Schaefer continues to serve for the Chemex. And that one will drop in for the Chargers. Good play there by the Chargers off the, the continue on the block there. And a really great set by Wilson. Set up that point. Desacaro will serve for Dow High. And that was a good serve by Acaro there. Really, from the start, got Midland out of system and had them scrambling. And uh, once you get there, you're in trouble. The Chargers were into the net for the Midland High Kimmick will get the point. Yeah, that was a little bit off on the pass there, and it really sent uh, Wilson trying scrambling to try and set that ball, but official saw her in the net. And a nice kill there by Taylor Fanborn. Chargers maintaining the lead, but it's a four-point lead, and the Kimmicks really beginning to get the momentum. 
certainly felt like this is that Dow is up by more in this set, but the charge of the Midland High is really just kind of chipping away and uh, limiting their airs the last few minutes. They get a free ball. Dow High get, gave you Gabby Wilson. She was on fire at the start of the of the match, and then she kind of cooled off. Now she's got the groove back. Yeah, and that was a really smart play there. She, you had a moment there, took a look at the court, and saw the wide open area there, and hit it there. And that's a that's a big point. Chargers able to come up with back to back points to build their lead to six. This is the opening set of the Dow High Chargers in the Midland High Kimmicks if you're just tuning in. And Dow High will have Wilson serve the ball. Three points in a row. Midland is claiming that it was tipped, but that does uh, not appear to be the case. So the Chargers do get the point. And that's where that one play by Wilson is so big. That if that point doesn't go their way, it's 18-15 with Dow having all the momentum, or with the Midland High having all the momentum. Three points later now, it's 21-14. And just as uh, you know, I said a few moments ago, momentum may have been on Midland High side. That is no longer yeah. the case. Four consecutive points for the Dow High Chargers, and Wilson continues to serve. Well, that's, that started with, a again, good good pass there by Sloop setting up the uh, – uh, Chemics there and a uh, good swing and uh, now they need Sloop to get make a little run here to have any chance in this set. The reigning homecoming queen for Midland will serve it up and picks up the point for the Midland High Chemics. Future Timberwolf too. Gonna Gabby. play softball at Northwood next year. Yeah she's great on the uh, softball diamond Gabby Sloop. Not bad on the volleyball court as well. My friend coach Greg Sovey would be upset if I didn't mention that at least once tonight. <laughs> Uh, she is, uh, from my umpiring uh, <laughs> profession, I'm very familiar with, with Sloop, and okay. she, is a, she is a great softball player. Well, that was a really great play there by the Chargers there on that pass, and then if you get a good set on the outside there, really well done, big swing, and now two points away from taking the opening set. Home court advantage. Yeah, it's good awareness to keep the not lose track of that point. They're gonna have to play it off the wall again. Back to back time, but they keep the the volley alive. Oh, wow. What a that, point. That was fun to watch. Yeah, and you got to give Dow a ton of credit. Obviously, they know their home court, and they know those kind of points can go their way. But you see the ball get deflected up like that. Your human instinct is to go, that point's over. But they didn't give up on that play a couple times. And just keeping it alive, big kill. Dow looking to feel the first set with this volley. And they do, blocked down by Summer Lewick, and the Dow High Chargers will win the first set by a score of 25 to 16. And it was that big lead to start things off, Travis, that the Dow High Chargers used to their advantage. Yeah, Midland High had a couple of chances. They were just felt like they had a little bit of momentum, but every time they got even within like four or five points, Dow responded with a big run, and they were definitely the better team in that opening set. You are watching High School Volleyball on MCTV. Glad that you could be with us. If you're just tuning in, you can watch the replay of this game on Charter Spectrum channels 188 to 191. And also we're available on AT&T UVerse on channel 99. And of course, we are streaming in high definition on the MCTV YouTube channel. So be sure to check out MCTV, the City of Midland website, slash MCTV to find out when this game will air as a replay. You can also check us out on Facebook and become our friend. 
I think MCTV still has our MySpace page going, <laughs> so Tom will be your, you know, wh whatever it takes to uh, connect with us here at MCTV. I would, uh, I would add them on my MySpace page. I don't think I remember the password, and I don't know if it's still <laughs> active. I hope it's not active, actually. It's been <laughs> yeah, a while since I checked it out. May, may, may be a good thing. My top, well, how many friends, eight friends that you had yes. to, uh, to and rank? And I'm guessing <laughs> many of our viewers, if they're younger, have no idea what we're talking Pro about prob MySpace Probably either, not. So. Probably not. So the uh, Dow High Chargers, if you take a look at Allie Taylor and now the Midland High Chemex, if you're Dow High, you're riding the momentum. You had a couple of great plays. Momentum's on your side. Yeah, and I think you just got to keep doing what you're doing and just keep putting the pressure on. I mean, they had some really good swings. And uh, if you're like you, we've mentioned this a few times, and I was even texting with Fred Kelly, and Midland, he mentioned the same thing about Midland High. You've got to eliminate the unnecessary errors. And he said when they're – when Midland High is on, they play really well in spurts, but to beat a team like Dow in a rivalry game, you got to find a way to eliminate those errors. It's not easy because the other team is trying to make you make those errors, but that's what Midland High has got to do if they want to win a, one this set. Well, that's been one of the concerns that Midland High has had all season long. Now, something different because of uh, COVID, the teams do not switch sides. In years past, you always flip-flopped yep. after, after, uh, after every set, but... This time, Midland High stays where they are. Dow High stays on their side. So it, it's kind of, uh, you know, you get a little familiar and really, yeah. why, why switch? Well, frankly, there's not much of a difference. I mean, on any of these courts, the, the distance, it's not, it's like Hoosiers. You measure the tape and it's the same length, the same rules on both sides. So I think it's a good, it, it's a really a smart play by everyone involved with volleyball. Yeah. Unlike beach volleyball where you may have the, the sun or the wind, yes. it doesn't make a difference <laughs> exactly. inside. Chemex will get the first point of game number two. Dow High picked up a 25-16 win the first time around. You also notice the, the feet. Not everybody is in a row like you usually would find on a team bench. There is actually one row and then a row behind it to try to keep everybody socially distant. That's the thing that kind of threw me off, especially at first. The officials are usually very stringent on that row being dead straight. And that's a, oh yeah, they can't do that anymore either. <laughs> A nice little tip by Carpenter for the Midland High Chemics, and Midland jumps to a 2-0 lead here in the second game. Good job by uh, Gaynow starting this, this ser two good serves, got Dow out of system both times. Three in a row, exact same thing. Three really good serves gets, that gets Dow out of system, and that's how you can take advantage when they've had three good kills because Dow has been on the defense, and they've had their foot, they've been on the back foot right now and not on the front foot so yeah. far. Olivia McMath, the youngest player, one of two sophomores for the Midland High Chemics getting that kill. Just caught Midland a little off balance. Yeah, well, that was really, Chargers were out of system again that time, but it all changed on a really good dig there by, by uh, excuse me, uh, Wilson. And Wilson got him back into system, really good swing. And that's a, that's a good point there. 4-0 to start, not exactly a great way to start second set. And just like that, the Chargers uh, end up pulling within one. As Francesca Query continues to serve Chief the Leader of this Dow High team, a great motivator, one of the team captains. <laughs> nice dig. And a nice job by Dow trying to keep it alive, but yeah, it looked like uh, Price got into the net there as that ball was coming up, trying to get that dig. really good, di couple of really good digs there, particularly the one there by Sloop that really kind of kept Midland High in that point that allowed them to get back in line and eventually or win that point. Just out, so the Chargers will get the point. Yeah, that was the right 
everything right there was the right play by Midland High. They just missed the swing by about three inches. But good pass, good set, good swing. But, uh, you know, sometimes you just miss. <laughs> Alex Gonaitis will serve for the Chargers. Good hard hit from the left-hand side. Gabby Wilson back to her, her old form. Yeah, and Wilson really has done a lot of really good things tonight, um, both offensively and defensively there. And that was really good swing, found the right angle, and uh, she's been probably the best player on the floor tonight for both teams. All tied up at four. Attempt at the block is uh, not successful. They say it was tipped away for the Midland High gimmicks will come away with the point. Yeah, that was a short serve there. Emma Reckaway got a real nice pass there, and then the quick, quick transition to the kill there. Well done by the Midland High there. Into the net for the Kimmicks will get the point. One of the things that Angela McMath uh, did just a couple of weeks ago is she switched some players around, tried some, some new things. Reckaway, Carpenter, all kind of uh, shifted into different spots. Yeah, I mean, it's you're just searching for stuff, especially in a year like this as discombobulated as everything is. I mean, yeah, it's when things are maybe not going the way you want, and maybe that's the sort of stuff that can get you going. And Midland High has been much better in the second set so far. Liv Carpenter, a couple of good serves. And that attempt at the kill goes long, so Midland High building a four-point lead. And now Ellie Taylor wants to call a timeout for the Dow High Chargers if things begin to slip away for Dow High. Midland High came out in the second set, Travis, and was really fired up. Yeah, and it's just so interesting, and this is so common in volleyball that you win that first set. And I mean, Dow won that first set pretty easy, 25-16, really felt like they were in complete control. And then you seriously flip a switch in the second set, and these are like the, the two teams switched uniforms early on this, this far. I mean, Midland serving has been really good. They've cut down on the airs, and Dow's been out of system quite a bit in this second set. And it's led to some uh, easy points for Midland High, and uh, they've been very good so far. Well, the tale of two coaches, Allie Taylor, very young in her coaching career, while Angela McMath is a seasoned coach that beginning her second stint as volleyball coach at Midland High. So kind of a, a little bit of a contrast there. Yeah. The timeout seems to have done the job, and the Chargers will get the serve back as the Devacaro will go back to serve. Well, that, that started with the great pass off that tough serve by Colnitis, and it really got, Dow was in perfect shape and really got an easy kill out of it. All started off the pass. The, I believe the Kim, uh, no, it was a uh, violation against Dow. Double hit by Colnitis. As soon as I gave her a compliment about <laughs> that last pass, she had the double hit on that one, but uh, yeah, it was kind of just little, slipped off her fingers a little bit. And that can happen when those balls are coming in high like that. It goes long, so the Chargers will get the point after a pretty nice volley between both of those teams. Yeah, that was a tough a tough play for Sloop there. And uh, I'll go to Kalinas again. It's the third straight foot I'll talk about. She made a great set there, a long cross-court angled set that really kind of kept Dow in charge of that point when it easily could have fell away there. It doesn't get across the net, so the Chargers will get the point. Dow High took the first game 25-16. to 16. Midland High has a two-point lead here and game number two as Gabby Wilson continues to serve. Well, this is where she's really kind of put Midland on their here heels with Wilson serving. She's been outstanding there tonight. And a nice job there. I think that was uh, Gabby Schloop that just kind of tipped it over. Yeah, she read the angle there and uh, just kind of tipped it the other way and found that the, the block was out of position and down, right in front of her and then there's down the line there was nobody there. Olivia DePero will serve for the Kimmick. How about an ace for DePero? Yeah, that's a great serve there. Look, look, you, you throw that knuckleball, that, that knuckleball serve like that, and it's just like a baseball where it just 
floats and dives and it, you think it's coming to you and then it just dumps down right at the end and it's hard to make a good pass on those. Almost did the same thing the second time around. Nice block by Midland. Charger can't handle it. Midland High picks up another point, 12 to seven in favor of the Kimmicks here in the second game. Yeah, those are two really good serves there by DePiro and it's one ace and the next one, the Dow's out of system and uh, two easy points. And into the uh, net were the uh, Chargers. So DePiro serving, those, those yes. are three fantastic yep, serves. It's getting them out of system three points in a row and serve receive is so important. And right now, Midland High has been better at it in this second set. And a nice dig. But the attempt goes long, so everything was going Midland High's way, but now Dow High will get that serve back, which I'm sure they're grateful for because yes. Olivia DePero was looking pretty it's good. So, yeah, it's such a, that's such a big part of it. And that's why even like on the last round when they got Wilson out of there serving after she served so well last point, those are the things that when you have a server that good, it's so important to get that side out. Blocked nicely by the Chargers. It was a good swing by Sanborn, but a great read up front. I think there. that was Ab uh, Abby Ray. Yeah, it was uh, Query and, uh, oh, I can't see your number, but there was two people at the net, uh, Query and, uh, Query, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but they had a great block, so whatever their names were. Well, she just did it again. Yes. That's, that time, Summer Lewick came through with the uh, block up front for the Dow High Charger. Yeah, so the three the three up front, uh, Lewick, Ray, and Query all getting three the of them, job all done. All three of them have been involved in both those blocks. Take when you can get it, you know, right there, just a little off the net, kind of throws all the timing off and stuff. But, uh, you know, that's uh, points like that you need when the Dow was starting to get a little momentum and cut into that lead, and now you got that lead back to four. And another great job serving by the Midland High Chemics. This time, Taylor Sanborn, one of the seniors on this Chemic team. Well, Sanborn is one of their big forces up front, you can tell, and she's also a good server. And the, these are the players you need to step up, and she's doing a good job right now. And a kill is a good one for Midland. Again, Dow got a decent swing at it, but a really, it was a great pass in the back row by Reckaway there, or by DePiro, excuse me. And uh, those eight and sixes look pretty similar. We talked about our vision going. <laughs> and uh, if the yeah. fine, you're getting old, yeah, exactly, Travis. Exactly, exactly. Welcome but, to the club. Yeah. There's a kill this time from the right-hand side. Alex Price able to get the point in. We've seen most of the kill attempts come from the uh, top of the screen from the left, but that one came from the right. Yeah, and that was a good read there. You don't have to hit the ball 300 miles an hour to get a kill. You can be an attacker and read the defense and see where there's an opening and just place it there. Good idea there for Midland to uh, try to change things up a little bit. You don't have to hit it three times yeah. before you hit it over, and that may have caught Dow by surprise. Oh, absolutely. Great play by Schaefer there, especially because she's a lefty there. She's in a great position just to kind of flick it over and uh, caught Dow high napping there. Great play. Nice dig. And tip it over. Were they into the net? Uh, yes, they were. So the Midland High Chemics will get the point. A nice dig and a nice attempt, but the Chargers go into the net. And now Allie Taylor is going to call her second timeout of this set with Midland High on top, 18 to 11. If you're just tuning in, Dow High took the first set, 25 to 16. But Travis here in the second set, Midland High scored the first point and they have not uh, been behind at all. No, they've led the whole way and really it starts with, they've eliminated those errors, very few errors. There's not that many sc scratch your head errors so far. They've been hit, they've been really good swings. Their defense has been much better 
And I think it's actually defensively, I think the two teams have really switched where Dow is struggling a little bit. They're out of system more this set. And you're seeing Midland High take advantage of it. But it's not that surprising. It's a rivalry match. Of course things are going to be changing in topsy-turvy. Absolutely. If you take a look at our socially distanced and uh, limited capacity crowd that is here at Dow High. But as we mentioned in the pregame, Travis, the fact is that we are playing volleyball. We have completed the volleyball season. Districts get underway in Mount Pleasant on uh, Monday. So it's all good. It's great. I'm mean, so happy that everybody's playing. And hopefully uh, my employer, North, will be back in January. <laughs> Kill attempt uh, by Akaro goes long for the Midland High Chemics really having the uh, momentum. No, they're yeah. going to give the point to Dow, say that it was tipped. I think that's the right call. I thought that, that I thought that was pretty clearly a, a tip there. I thought the ball changed angles from where we were. Um, really good job there by Dow off, after getting high out of, tra uh, out of system and then quick transition swing and good kill. Nice job there from the right-hand side by Liv Carpenter. And we talked about unforced airs, Travis, and that is one thing we have not seen here in the second no, set. No, they're really doing a good job there. And just be, just being competitive at the net, too. Like, on that play, really looked like Dow was going to be in great position to win that point. But Midland fought back and uh, made, then did get the point. I think, Mid I think Midland High was just doing a, making sure they had the right server there because if you have the wrong server back there, that's a point. And when you get going so fast and momentum's going your way, sometimes it's just like, okay, let's just make sure we don't lose a point here because we're too excited. Kimmick keep it alive for the Chargers. Do they take advantage of the free ball? Nice dig by Dow to keep things going. But they cannot capitalize after Price had the dig. And the Midland High Chemics will get the point. One thing that uh, I'm having trouble with here tonight is whenever a sub comes in before the use to high five, yeah. now they now they can't touch when they yeah. uh, when they sub. That just seems so weird to me. It is. It is. It's a lot of things that are just all, it's just strange. There's a kill from the left hand side by Gabby Wilson. Well, that's what happens when you stay in system and get that perfect pass off the first serve. You can set your outside hitters in time, in rhythm, and that was probably the biggest swing we've seen tonight for either side. Alex Konaitis will serve for the Chargers. Well, you can only hit it three times. Yeah, that's true. And, and and Dow did a really good job with placement on that. And Midland High kind of was just scrambling, just trying to get the ball over the net and just couldn't quite do it. Nice job there by Dowhive Devacaro, just kind of uh, tipping it over and getting Midland out of their rhythm. Yeah, that was a close call there on that lift on that dig attempt by McMath. Uh, but official was right on it. No, no, nothing from the uh, McMath, the head coach McMath either on that. Waiting to see what the ruling is, and still no ruling. Everybody's looking around who's going to get the point, and they're going to confer. The officials aren't sure whether that was tipped or not yeah, tipped. It was so. obviously, it was clearly out on the sideline, but was it tipped? I think. 
Yeah, they're oh, going to give it to Dow. They're going to give it to Dow. They're going to they're going to fade it with Nat Tip. Well, the Midland side started to celebrate early on, and uh, uh, something must have changed there. And uh, that's a big point. 21-15 or 20-16. That's a huge difference. I find it very interesting, Travis, going back to that previous point, in the game of volleyball, you don't have a lot of argument from the, from the, uh, the coaching staff. If, if this had been some other sports that we won't mention, yeah, we would yeah. be, we, we'd be yes. delayed two or three minutes yes. if, if the coach had ranted yeah. and raved about yeah. it. Yeah. It's also a little different at the collegiate level, too. We would have had a delay at the collegiate <laughs> level. <laughs> I was going to ask you if... Uh, <laughs> about that. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Chargers keep yes. it in play. And now Midland does the same. Both teams really doing well on scramble drills, just keeping the ball in play. And, and as we said, after all those tough plays, just a little miscommunication, a little mistiming on that set. And that's a huge point. When you get down late in these sets like this, difference between 2018 and 2117, when you're so close to the end, those are just that's a huge play there. Good big point for Midland. We're in the second set, 21-17. 22-17. Midland. Looking very good here in the second set. As we mentioned, they have led throughout the second set after Dow took the first one. Good set by Reckway and a great read by Schaefer. She's found that deep corner a couple times in this set. Nice block and the Kimmich will get another point. And another good play by Reckway there, that time with McMath at the net and just being in the right place, reading the attack and uh, again, 21-17, now 23-17, big points there. Carpenter serve. And I believe it was long, and it was, so the Chargers will get the serve back. Well, most sports, momentum plays a big factor, but volleyball is one of those sports where I really think momentum makes all the difference. Yeah, momentum can be your next server being a great server, even alone on that. But and then, like, see, and then it just seems like those are the errors that Dow High wasn't making in the first set. But right now, Midland's feeling good, Midland's playing well, and Midland's getting the points. All about on four stairs, and the Kimmicks have a chance to win the second set as Gabby Schloop puts the ball in play. One of their best servers, and she makes a great dig. But the attempt goes long for the Chargers hanging on. Yeah, that's a that's one of those plays by Reckaway there where you can you just kind of want to don't go for too much because it's going to be really hard for you to win that point anyway, but it's so tempting to just try and hit it a little harder, and then you end up missing on a point that you're probably not going to win that way anyway. The attempt at the block uh, ends up staying on the Kemic side. So the Chargers trying to itch back in at a great second set so far. Midland High leading by four. But the Chargers have the fervor, one of their best fervors, Gabby Wilson, to put the ball in play. Uh, it's in. That was all Sydney Schaefer there after that. Good, really good serve by Wilson there and Schaefer got a quick pass and didn't even get to really set with two hands, had to bump it up there and just put it right on the money. Great play. Well, that is what the Midland High Kimmicks need if we are all tied up in this best of five volleyball matchup as the Midland High Kimmicks take the uh, second set 25 to 20 over the, uh, over the Dow High Chargers. Great action here on MCTV, we are glad that you are with us watching the action of the Kimmicks and the uh, Chargers live on our YouTube channel. And we've got some exciting news to talk about coming in January of 2021. The MCTV network will be streaming on Roku, Apple TV, Fire Stick, and other mobile devices. So you can enjoy all the community events, government meetings, local sports, conference, and more wherever you are and whenever you want. Staying informed with what's going on will never be easier. And you can... Uh, 
create your own TV show, put the videos on YouTube, you can do an audio podcast if you're interested, all kinds of ideas, and you can contact MCTV at 837-3474 for more information, but, uh, well, where I live, I'm, I'm not a, uh, a city resident. I have a hard time getting MCTV. So the fact that uh, they're going to be on Roku come January is uh, very exciting to me. Roku, Apple TV, Fire Stick, all kinds of streaming devices coming in January of 2021. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really exciting. <laughs> Travis McCurry of Northwood University by my side. I'm Jason Harper with you for MCTV's coverage of high school volleyball. We saw the Dow High Chargers looking good in the first set. Midland High came back and looked good in the last set, and we're all tied up. It's always, as with every sport, it's about the adjustments. And I think Midland High made some really good adjustments in that second set, executed their game plan a lot better. Now, how does Dow adjust to the adjustments? And then how does Midland adjust to the adjustments and all that? And really, it's about execution at this point. You really just want to run your offense, run your system, make good passes. Dow struggled in that second set after Midland struggled in the first set with some of those passes. But you also, there's a reason you struggle with some of those passes because the other offenses make good swings. Yeah, the uh, chess game between Allie Taylor and Angela McMath that uh, will play out. And we saw some great adjustments between the first and second set on McMath's part. We'll see if Taylor does the same here if we come out for the third set. Yeah, and it, when, you, when you split the first two sets, it really the third set is obviously very, very big. And, uh, you know, I think for Midland High, you know, I think Dow, this is Dow's home senior night. This is, Dow has had a better record this season. I think it's very important for Midland High to come out and have a very good third set here if they want to have a chance to win this match. Well, and you also get to play in, I mean, it, it is not warm here at Dow High, but, and the players have been playing this way all season long, yeah. but the stamina and you know comes into play because the players are wearing masks yep, while, while yep, they're playing yep. and, and the more sets that are played the more that comes into play the kill attempt goes long midland says it was tipped and i believe they are correct yeah, you, I really like, Sanborn's done some really nice things tonight, both setting and with some good swings there, and that was a really good, deep at swing there and gets Midland the first point. But the serve ends up uh, going sideways, so Dow High will now serve. serve. Query did a really good job, has done a really nice job serving tonight. Let's see how she's their opening server this set. Kind of a wild scramble there, Jason, and a really a, a smart play. Again, that's just kind of knowing where the defense is going to be when you're kind of in a spot where you're out of system and you just got to kind of trying to find an open spot there. And that could easily go for your against your opponent, but Dow did a great job there and got the point. Well, this third set have gone uh, back and forth. Neither team really showing dominance. Uh, Dow High took the first set 25-16 and kind of dominated. Midland took the second set 25-20 and dominated. This time around, it's an even 2-2 here in the third set. Nice dig, kept alive. Point goes to the Chargers. Nice job by Anna Schalk. Able to uh, get that dig and set things rolling for Dow High. Yeah, and then Wilson on that ball that went over the net. It looked like there was going to be a chance for a kill there for Sanborn, but a uh, great play there by on that read there, and it gets north gets Northwood. <laughs> gets <laughs> Dow the point. You, you have missed Northwood volleyball this uh, yeah, fall. I was going to say, i so used to saying that on the broadcast. I, I, I'm surprised it, it only took me to the third set before <laughs> I did that. The kill works for the Midland High Chemex as we are all locked up three to three. Varsity plays the best of five. So settle in. We've got a couple of sets of volleyball yet to go here on MCTV and also uh, YouTube. You know, with the, uh, the COVID situation, the MHSAA relaxing their rules on live streaming, which is the reason that we are live here tonight. And it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. It is. It's great. It really is.
Nice job by Sloop. And again, Sloop comes up with the dig. But it goes long for the now high Chargers will get the point. Oh, it's such a really a great job by Sloop there. Just keeping the point alive and then just disappointing to miss what should be a gimme to just get the ball over the net there. Miscommunication by the Chargers will give the Kimmicks the point. Yeah, that time Williams and Kalinas ran into each other as that ball was set, and then there was nobody else near that point. So once they ran into each other, there was no chance. Into the net for the Kimmich will get the point. Well, that's the that quick transition that Dow really likes to do there, that quick set to the middle there. But that's one of those ones that's kind of tricky to get the timing down. If it's off at all, you're going to miss. Carpenter serve. And I believe it was in, and it was, I believe, that was Summer Lewis. And that's the exact same play, but that time the set was right on. and. Those quick serves like that can, if they're executed well, they're very difficult for the defense to slow down. Gabby Wilson serves. Almost had an A's, and now we've got, did it hit the ground? No, they're calling a double hit. Yeah, double hit there on Schaefer there. It was such a good, another great dig by Sloop. Really impressed with her as a libero tonight, but she's been let down by her teammates a couple times now. On, she's made great digs and then some mental errors off her. And there's a, another uh, on fourth there by the Midland High Kimmicks and Dow have their first lead since back in set number one. This is also Wilson serving again. We've seen this all night when she's serving. It's when Dow is probably their most dangerous. And the attempt at the dig doesn't work out and the Chargers are beginning to ride a little bit of momentum. And I think a big part of that is the serving of Wilson. Yeah, it's one of those things if you're Midland High, you really want to get it side out here just to A, stop the momentum, and B, so she's not serving. That time the Midland High Kimmicks will get credit for the point, staying neck and neck here in the third game, and now Gabby Schloop will serve for Midland. Just tip it over ever so gently. Lewick comes up big for Dow. And that's another quick transition set from the for that quick one to the middles there. And again, we've seen three of those in the last few points and they've resulted, the point has ended immediately after that. Two in favor of Dow, one in favor of Midland. There's a nice hit, hit aimed right for that corner and got the ball right where it was supposed to go. Yeah, great swing by Sanborn there. Just. Had the right angle, and again, deep to the opposite corner there is a is a tough, it's a tough one to defend there if hit properly, and uh, it's really well done there by Midland High. And we go back and forth here, Jason. Still it stays tight. Fun fed of the DePiro serve. And that time, the uh, point will go to the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, Schaefer sat there trying to get it to, I believe it was to gain out, uh, gain out. She just a little tight to the net, and then it's really kind of in a tough spot. And a shock will serve for the Chargers. And the attempt goes long. Dow High will get the point. Biggest lead of the third set for the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, if you're 
Your Dow, you're just riding this momentum right now, and Schalke has done, again, a good job serving here. And again, they get out of system off a good serve. Nice job there right up front for the Midland High Chemex as Emily Gay now comes up with the block. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be an easy kill for Dow, but uh, Chargers challenged at the last second. That can throw off a hitter like that in the middle of the net. And a strong hit uh, from Dow High. Abby Ray comes up big. Chargers maintaining a three-point lead. The JV game, before we went on the air, went three sets before the Dow High Chargers that came away victorious. We're in the third set of the varsity contest, all tied up one-to-one. -one. And again, just tip it, of, tip it over for Dow High. Nice job by Wilson. Dow High beginning to uh, slowly start to pull away. Well, right now, Dow is really doing a good job getting Midland out of sorts and kind of getting them scrambling. And that's when you can just read the defense and be able to make those tips because there's people out of position. That attempt goes long. Do we get a timeout here, Travis? Yep, good yeah. read. <laughs> you read the defense there well, too, Jason, for that timeout. <laughs> Angela McMath says, let's talk things over with Dow High leading 14 to nine here in our third set of high school volleyball on MCTV. Both of these teams will be headed to Mount Pleasant next week for a district competition. The opening game of the districts may turn out to be the best game of the districts on Monday. It will be Dow High and Mount Pleasant doing battle in a rematch. Mount Pleasant won the first battle between those two teams. Dow High looking for revenge when it counts, and that is the postseason, and that will come up on Monday. Midland High will play their first game of the district on Wednesday, November 4th. They will take on Bay City Central, which is a tough draw for the Midland High Chemex. The finals will be on Thursday, so it's a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday district next week in Mount Pleasant. Yeah, and it's always, I mean, postseason's always great, and uh, you just don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, it's, we've seen it every sport across the board throughout the years. I mean, Mount Pleasant and Bay State Central certainly are gonna be favorites in those matches, but you never know. There's a uh, kill by Midland High of Carpenter We'll put it where the Chargers aren't. It's a 14-10 game here in set number three. Good job by Midland there, coming out of that timeout, executing right away, getting, getting that side out. And the attempt goes long. Very interesting, uh, Gabby Schloop is not in right now for Midland. I think that's the first time all night that she has not been in. Yeah, it looks like they put Sydney Miller out there kind of maybe to help with a little bit with blocking up, but she's in the back row. It is interesting, yeah. There is a block. Carpenter coming up near the uh, front of the line for the Midland High Chemex. Carpenter and McMath getting the job done. Well, that was a great time out there by McMath. They've come out and scored two straight points and now right back in it. One of the best volleyball minds uh, around is Angela McMahon. That one is long, so the Midland High Chemics have pulled within one. This is Emily Gay now who is serving. And miscommunication by the Chargers. Two players going for that at the same time. We're all tied up at 14. Well, four straight points after the timeout. And uh, big part of it is Gaynow serving, you know? I mean, it's really kind of thrown Dow off here. That kill is in for the Dow High Chargers. Guess who? Gabby Wilson. Yeah, she got a good 
Good, great set and a big run up and really well placed there that just kind of in a spot where nobody at Midland High can get to it. And that was a huge point right there because Midland had all the momentum and now get back. She's not serving on the other end and you get your rotation in. Woke it in, yep it was. That was, that was really spectacular play by Wilson there. Such a tight set on the net, and it looked like it was not gonna be able to put in play, but she knew she had a tight block to the net, and just hit it into the block, and you can win that point a lot of times. Dow kept it alive. Midland comes up with the kill. I thought maybe uh, the Chargers were in the net that previous time around, but no call, but yeah, Kimmick's uh, didn't need it. They get the kill. Yeah, I actually thought off the block for for Dow, it hit the antenna, but either way, we both had, we thought that it should have been Midland's point and they got it, so no harm, no foul. And now Midland, Sydney Schaefer will serve. Now try to tip it over, couldn't do it, so the Dow High Chargers will get the point. What a third set, back and yeah. forth we go. All tied up, Dow took the first set, Midland came back second time around and we just went back and forth here in the third set. It was in, Great give the serve. ace. Great serve, that floating knuckleball there. And it like, when it was over the net, it looked like there was no way it was gonna be in and it, Floated down, hit the line, tremendous serve there. Deva Caro getting the job done. She's one of the four seniors on Dow High's team. Can't do it the second time though. Yep, that, that looked like almost the safe serve. That one actually had a little more rotation on it, so it actually kept floating instead of like diving like the last one did. That was more of the pure knuckleball serve. And she comes off a little hand sanitizer and she'll be back before too long. Serve attempt by Midland is out, so the Chargers will get that point. One of the old adages I've heard many times over the years is first one to 20 will win a, most of the time. It's probably because they're actually winning the set at the time, but when you got a match like this going, next, getting to 20 is gonna be huge, and Dow's only one point away right now. A big block there for Dow, and they cannot get it over, so not there yet. Midland High within two here in the third set, and now one of their best servers, Gabby Schloop, is gonna be serving. Good call, Jason. Got an ace off her serve right there. And now Midland is within one. If we continue to go back and forth at what has been a very entertaining third set. Did we jinx her? Yeah, uh, probably there. It's, but serving aggressively is something that, like we mentioned in the pre-match. Pre so you, you got to do it. So you're going to, you got to deal with the good and the bad. The bad is in the occasional error. Alex Price will serve for Dow. Nice dig by Schalk. Nice dig by Schloop. And the kill attempt is long. Give Dow High the point. Yeah, really good defense there. Both liberos came up with really good plays there, Schalk and Schloop. But, and that, that's, the, that's the angle shot that Sanborn's been doing all night, just a little long. Big point for in favor of Dow. Well, this is a big point right here at 21-18. And Midland stays alive and stays in it. Gainow with a really good swing there right into the, in, into the block and uh, slowed it down enough that that back girl to barrel there, Shaw couldn't come up and get that dig. Olivia DePero will serve now for the Kimmick. And a good kill, I think that was Lewis that came through. Yep. Now if you take a look at Ali Taylor, Angela McMath wants to call a timeout if the Chargers build a 22 to 19 lead here in the third set of high school volleyball coverage on MCTV. When we talked to the coaches before we went on the air, Travis, one of the things that Ali Taylor said for the Dow High Chargers in regards to how crazy this season has been 
She said that it's like they're building the airplane while it's still in the air. I, that's a that's a really great analogy. I love it because it's so true. You're just kind of trying to figure it out as you go, and <laughs> you know that if things don't go well, it comes kind of crashing down, figuratively of <laughs> course, and uh, and literally I guess. But uh, I think uh, everybody's. I mean, to get to this point where we're still playing. And it looks like hopefully high school basketball gets going here shortly too. I mean, it's a. Uh, I'm gonna be honest and say I'm surprised we've gotten to this point, but I'm thrilled. It's it's a great surprise to get to this point. And there, there are days I think we're hanging by a thread, but yep. the, uh, the the fact is that we are still playing, which is a a great thing for high yep. school athletes. Yep. Anna Shock will serve after the timeout. They're going to say that's going to be a point for Dow High. It looks, I think they called Sanborn in the net there, I think. That was hard to tell. It was away from the play, but the down official called it right away. And that's a huge point. And another nice serve by Shock. And the Kimmicks cannot return it. Yeah, and Shock serves right here at the end of this set when things are really tight. She has really come up big, and now it's a set point for Dow. Dow High looking to gain a two to one advantage as Anna Schalk prepares to serve. And the attempt of the kill goes into the net, so Dow High will pick up the 25 to 19 victory here in the third set. Uh, so Dow High now goes up two to one over the Midland High Chemics as we continue our coverage of high school volleyball here on MCTV. Kind of, I was concerned a little bit about uh, Anna Shock serving because she only likes cheese on her pizza, yeah. not, not, <laughs> it, not anything else. That had me looking, but that's great. But she did a great job oh, serving. That, I think that's the biggest stretch of that set. It was very tight down the end, and Shock came up and just hammered a bunch of serves right row. And I mean, Midland High was out of system, I believe. I think she they scored the last four or five points, and they were out of system on every single one of those points. So. You can serve like that and keep hitting it in and get your other team out of system. It's going to be real tough to overcome. There's a good look at Allie Taylor, the first year coach for the Dow High Chargers. She was a flying G when she played volleyball back in high school, and now she wears the, uh, the green and gold of Dow High. The coverage of this game is produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you would like to uh, become a producer or work on a crew, such as the uh, crew doing a phenomenal job tonight, sign up. For the Media Creator Workshop, you will learn how to be a producer, create a studio program, use professional video cameras, and edit your video on professional software. And you can learn how your creation can be made into a podcast or a video on YouTube. Contact MCTV for more information. $45 covers the training and a year of access membership. Again, 837 3474 is the number to call. Or you can find more information on the City of Midland website or look up MCTV on Facebook. And we have got a phenomenal crew doing a great job. Craig, uh, Chris Ferguson, I almost called him Craig, but Chris Ferguson you doing know, a great job uh, at the helm here today. Craig Ferguson, former late night on uh, CBS host, is not uh, no, helping he, us out he, with volleyball he, tonight. He, he's not helping us out. He, should, but, but be Chris, on, he should be on air if he was here that's tonight, right. actually. <laughs> that's right. And uh, we have been informed that it is Chris with a K. So if That's you are good to know. writing good to know. that down. Yeah. But here we go. Let's get ready for the fourth set here on MCTV of the Chemex. And the Chargers continue their battle. Dow High took the first set 25 to 16. Midland came back winning 25 to 20. And then it was Dow with a 25 to 19 victory and a phenomenal back and forth third set. So now here we go with set number four, a little bit of a delay if the officials make sure the right players are uh, on the lineup card and now we're ready to go. Well, if you're Midland High here, it's important to get off to a good start. When you're a, an underdog, on paper underdog team coming into this and you win a set and you're feeling good, but you lose the set, 
it seems very often I've seen the underdog kind of crumble and, and kind of lose all that momentum going in the fourth set. So I think it's important for Midland to get off to a good start here in the fourth. Dow High will serve to begin. And a nice hard kill from the left hand side by Gabby Wilson. Well, I think the, the Dow High serving tonight, they've been really good across the board with Query, Wilson, and Shalk all really kind of putting Midland High on the defense, trying to get their offense going on that serves. Nice little job that time by Midland as Emily Gay now tips it over, all tied up at one. I mean, that was another one of those nice reads there where you see that block, the, the ball's fading away, the set's fading away from you. You see those two blockers are tight to the net. Just tip it over and uh, well done. Good block. Kimmicks keep it alive. And a nice job there by Dazakaro to drop it over for the Chargers. That was a really good attempt by Sanborn to get Midland back in the point, but Akaro with a great swing and a really a perfect set there really put them in a great spot where it looked like Midland kind of got themselves back into system, but the Chargers perfectly done it at the end. Nice job there by Gabby Wilson. Sometimes you don't have to uh, be forceful with a kill. Sometimes it's just tipping the ball over. Yep, and again, it's just execution. And right now it's, I mean, Midland's got to find something here right now because right now it's, it's like eight of the last nine points have gone to Dow going back to the last set. Good idea, and well, it doesn't work completely. Another nice idea, fake the kill, try to tip it over. And that time, the attempt of the kill will end up going the way of the Midland High Kimmich. Well, it really, that felt like it was going to be Dow High's point the whole way. And the Chemex were out of system the whole time. But give the Chemex credit. They really just hung in there and found a way to get that point. But the Chemex give the momentum right back to the Chargers. We haven't talked about Taryn Williams very much. She's a sophomore for the Dow High Chargers on the front line. But she's been one of those quiet players that just goes in there and does what she is supposed to do. Yeah, it's a... Uh, and then another ace there, again, serving, serve, the serving from, I didn't even mention Okara when, about the good serving. And that's her second ace in the last couple sets. Yeah, she's looked good back there. Uh, Dev is her name, but just shorten it to Dev, and she'll get the job done. Midland High, however, coming back, trying to stay in this game, only down by two points. In a very pivotal fourth set, Dow High leading two sets to one over Midland. There's Williams, but Sloop comes up with the dig. Midland into the net. Looks like it was a uh, ball double. handling error. Ball handling uh, uh, called a double contact on the set. That was strong from the, from the third by Wilson down to the kill by Query. Dow High switched things up a little bit and it worked well. All right, Jason, well, I think what you're seeing right now is even the points Midland High is winning, it's hard work. They have to scramble. Their, the Dow points seem to be pretty easy right now. Well, that time Dow couldn't uh, communicate to get the ball over. 
So Midland will stay in it down by three if Gabby Schloop will go back to serve. I think the big play in that point there was Schaefer's set, tough set opposite side to the opposite corner, put it on the money and kind of let, allowed Midland to dictate that point. That set up uh, Wilson, or Query. No, it was, it, who was that? That was Query that was set up from the left-hand side. It's the five and the six, too, and they're about the same <laughs> height. They have similar color hair. Yep, I uh, I can see that, yeah, but that was another great, a really, again, you get, you get Midland out of, out of system, and you watch Dow take advantage there with an easy kill. That time it was Wilson. And it was all her really on that point because she had a tough dig after a good swing from the Midland, from Midland side and then got the back row attack and put it in the right spot. Pivotal point, Chargers beginning to pull away. But Midland uh, not going quietly, uh, Fanborn just tips it over. Yeah, she's had probably four or five kills tonight on that exact play where you just, because she's got such a big swing and she's one of their best attackers at Midland High. You really want to pressure her at the net, but when you do that, you open up those soft angle attacks. And she's done a good job taking advantage of that. Olivia DePero will serve for the Chargers, or for the Kimmich. Loop set a couple of nice digs in this volley, but the attempt of the kill doesn't work and the Chargers will get the point. Really well done by both teams there, grinding out that point, just keeping the ball in play, but one of those ones that uh, got kind of feel like sometimes those long points like that tend to go to the team that's got the momentum going. I don't have any scientific data to pack that up, but it's, it's a point that can really help your or hurt your momentum and that one, Dow finished it off. And a shock will serve. How about that? McMath decides, or excuse me, Schaefer decides that uh, we're not going to set anybody up. I'm just going to knock it over. And it worked to give Midland a point. That play right there is the exactly why in an ideal world, if you have tons of players, if you can find a lefty setter, they are, can be really tough on that situation because they can just hit it like that and take a real full swing. And that was a really great read there by Schaefer. From the right hand side, the attempt ends up long, so the Kimmicks do get the point. It is 10 to seven. Dow High with the lead here in the fourth set. The Chargers leading two sets to one. It would have been a very entertaining battle between Midland High and Dow High. From the middle, a successful kill for Abby Ray. Well, anytime you get an easy kill like that for your middle, it starts with, it's a basically a three-part plan. Good pass off the serve, good set by the setter, and then you got your middle in a great spot. And That's the ideal thing for a volleyball team to do is set the middles like that and have easy kills. Nice job, the kill is good for Gabby Wilson. Francesca Query will continue to serve for the Dow High Chargers. Well, that's the, well we just talked about what Dow Midland High did right there. Great set off, great pass off the serve. Great set and an easy swing there. That time it was for Gainow. Good play, rewarded by getting the serve. And well, the serve was nice, but then a little miscommunication on the uh, front line for the Chemics will give Dow High the point. Yeah, that's a tough one for Midland High there. You got a great serve, get some out of system right away, but. 
unfortunately the ball kind of lands in no man's land right between the front and the back row and I got it, you take it, turns into a point for the Chargers. Now things beginning to uh, fall apart for Midland, so Angela McMath says we are gonna talk things over and you can tell by the reaction of the Dow High Chargers that they are feeling very confident at this point if Dow High is up 14 to eight over Midland High. Yeah, it's one, it kind of, going back to what I said between sets, when you're the underdog and you, you win a set and then you lose one, the start of the next set, when you have a chance to force a fifth, it's so important to get off to a good start. And uh, Midland has been the better team early on. And um, Midland's been working really hard, but they're working really hard because the Dow serving and Dow offensive attack has got them out of sorts. And they're doing, they're just scrambling to keep the ball alive for the most part, where really you can feel that Dow is really kind of pressing forward and trying to get kills at every possible moment. Well, so the Chargers do, you know, when, when a new coach comes in, there's always the adjustment period, and as crazy of the year 2020 has yeah. been, it, it adds a little bit more. But Ali Taylor has really uh, done a nice job, and I think the Charger players have really bought into what Taylor is uh, attempting to do. Yeah. And uh, Fred Kelly, our friend from the Midday News, texted me. She's the daughter of longtime Gladwin High School basketball coach Kirk Taylor. Kirk was the coach back when I was at Gladwin in the 90s, so he coached for a very long time. So she's got coaching in her blood. There's a kill by the uh, Midland High Chemex as Liv Carpenter comes up. Midland hanging around 14 to 9 here in the uh, fourth set. Midland needs a bunch of points to try to get that momentum back on their side and, and fourth a fifth set here tonight. And this is a good chance to do it. Schaefer's one of their better players, back to serve. Good serve to start and you get the point. The kill goes long, so it is the point for the Midland High Kimmick. And Dow, of course, knows that Schaefer is one of their better players and better servers, so they're gonna really wanna get her out so she's not serving here. So side out will be huge. And serving in the net is a, that's gonna hurt there, of course. Again, we go back to what we talked about early in those on four stairs. Yeah, it's tough. That's again, you got Dow really with the momentum, and you can't, you don't want to just float one in there, but you really got to get that ball in too. They're gonna say that. Uh, well, Midland doesn't agree with that call. And now you you take a look at uh, Gabby Schloop going over to get an explanation of uh, what happened there. Yeah, Gabby's the only one that can actually go talk to the official because she's the captain. So, um, yeah, with the setter in the front row there versus an attack versus a set, those those plays like that are very close and tough to call for the officials, and that time ruled in favor of Dow. So do I dare ask, good call, bad call, Travis? It's, uh, or I could it, see it, both arguments there. Probably a good call. Well, we've had back-to-back -back serves from both of these teams that end up into the net. So Dow High now leading 17 to 11 as Gabby Wilson will go back to serve. Double contact there on and uh, it was a good, not a bad pass, but a tough ball to set there. And when you get that fastball coming at you, it's very easy to get the double contact. And now they're gonna say uh, the Chargers were in the net. Yeah, Query was the one that got that call there. And now, you know, okay, you're in the same boat with Midland High. You got one of your better servers back there in Sloop. And, She's got a chance to maybe run off some points here for Midland High. And miscommunication on Dow High's point. Sloop have picked up a couple of points. You have to wonder, even though Dow still has the lead, if Allie Taylor has been thinking timeout. Yeah, I think a couple, lead, maybe after they get one more point here, but definitely after a couple more. Uh, the attempt at the kill goes into the net, and so now Midland High have pulled within two and a 
fourth fed that the gimmick need to win to stay alive. I thought that was going to be it. Taylor was doing the walk like she's going to take the timeout. Did not take it, though. But I think if this point goes the other way, I think we'll see it. Hard kill by the Dow High Chargers. And Dow High up by three. It's the best of five in high school volleyball. The Chargers seven points away from picking up victory. That was a tough set by Colinitis and a really great swing by Query. Again, Mizzen High maybe was getting some momentum and that was a really big play. I'd like to see your senior step out there and she definitely did. With another kill, back-to-back -back kills there. Well, there you see a senior step up and check a Query that will come up with the kill for the Dow High Chargers. And just like that, two points later, when we were talking about maybe Midland getting within one point, now they're down four. Was it in? It was not. 19 to 16 is where we stand. Dow High took set number one, 25 to 16. Midland came back 25 to 20, and then it was Dow's turn 25 to 19. Now we battle here in set number four. And that one just stays in for Summer Lewis. Tough. Lewis's a pretty good uh, player. Kind of goes under the radar. She's a junior, yep. but she's talented. Yeah, you can see that I think uh, Dow High's got a few more options than Midland do. Midland has some very good players, but I think Dow can put three or four players on the floor at all times they, that they've, you've got to account for. Dow's got some great depth. They can rotate players in. There's miscommunication by Midland. Yeah, that's just one of those ones where there's two players right in that spot, and uh, now Midland's and Midland's really need to side out here. Obviously, goes without saying when you're down five, and the other team's about to possibly serve out the match. You really need to get that point, this side out right now. 21 to 15 in favor of Dow. If you look. At Midland High and Coach Angela McMath. She was Angela Porter when she coached at Midland the first time around. <laughs> and on the other side, Allie Taylor and the Dow High Chargers just four points away from uh, picking up the victory. Some of the junior varsity players enjoying a little Neil Diamond uh, on a, uh, what is this, a Tuesday night. Yes. I will say the first couple times you said Allie Taylor, as a Northwood employee, I hear, keep hearing Ellie Taylor. <laughs> Very similar names, and Ellie, of well, course, is and, and, and on again, the basketball team at Northwood. And, and, uh, and again, a uh, well-known name of Very well-known name, country. yes. And speaking of basketball coaches, I've talked to Coach Reckaway a little bit earlier tonight. His daughter, of course, former Coach Reckaway, I should say, now in advancement at Northwood on Midland High side. The attempt of the kill is long, and it's now three points that the Dow High Chargers need to pick up their 13th win in this 2020 season. And they've got Anna Schalk serving. Well, this is where we were last time, Jason. Schalk was serving when they closed out the third set and uh, possibly in a position to do it again. Midland High stays alive with Taylor Sanborn picking up the kill. Sanborn's really gone for that angle attack at the opposite corner quite a bit tonight, but that time I think Dow was ready for it, but Sanborn did a good job adjusting to it, hit down the line, and had a wide open court. And she gets to serve, Sanborn. And from the left-hand side, Cheka Query getting the job done for Dow, and she will go back to serve for the Dow High Chargers. By the way, Cheka and I have something in common, Travis. Yes. Steak. That's a, yep. We, yep. We, well, we that, both, well, uh, although I'm guessing mine is probably a little bigger. Yeah, but yeah, well, let's just go ahead and make it a hat trick then, Jason. <laughs> I agree. I agree with all both of you on that. And she, that's been her spot tonight. She's been great from over there. Tons of kills. 
and attacking from all angles to all different spots on the court. It's the power of steak. Good block for the Chargers, keep it alive, and Dow will come away with the point. Well, that's just when you get to the end of the match and things haven't gone your way, that's the kind of point that happens. Really good block by Dow, by Midland High, but then just kind of fell in a bad spot, and now it's match point. Premier captain looking to pick up the final point for the Chargers, but it's not going to happen. Midland staying alive, and the Kimmicks will have the serve. been a very entertaining night of volleyball from the from the get-go both of these teams trying hard to pick up a uh, bragging right for the city in the last matchup before these teams will head to districts and the uh, serve is going to go out so the Dow High Chargers will pick up the win 25 to 18 here in the fourth set and by a virtue of three to one the Dow High Chargers are going to celebrate here tonight. Yeah, they were the better team tonight, and they've been the better team for most of the year, record-wise, of course. And uh, yeah, they. I think the things we talked about in the pregame, like Dow's transition that Taylor, Coach Taylor, talked a lot about, that really came to be. And then um, Midland, I didn't. Midland made some mistakes, but really, I thought it was more the pressure of Dow High put on Midland High that Midland had a hard time keeping the ball and keep staying in, in system. So, I mean, Dow was the better team for sure tonight. Yeah, Dow High looked very good, and they've got a lot of that senior leadership that we mentioned with Cheka Query, along with uh, Anna Schalk that played well, Gabby Wilson played well. There's a lot of players on this Dow High team that we could talk about, but as a team, you know, the Chargers, they got a tough draw on that opening day coming up on Monday, but if they pick up the win over Mount Pleasant, this is a team that could come away with a district championship. Absolutely, absolutely. There's no doubt about that because I think that they bring it, they put enough weapons on the floor that uh, if they're in system and doing a good job on serve, receive, and on defense, they got enough attackers up front that can make things dangerous. And uh, obviously, Bay City Central will be the favorite in that game, but it doesn't mean that Dow High can't go win it. Well, there's definitely a reason that you, you play the game, and you take a look at Angela McMath talking to the Midland High Kimmicks, who, as you mentioned, Travis, played very well. But tonight it's all about the Dow High Chargers as the green and gold win the uh, matchup here tonight, three sets to one. Dow High took the first set, 25-16. to 16. Midland came back with the, their best played set, 25-20. But then it was Dow, 25-19 to 19 and 25-18 to 18, as the Dow High Chargers have a pitcher taken in honor of senior night and the Dow High Chargers will now prepare for a Monday battle in Mount Pleasant against Mount Pleasant, a tough draw for the Dow High Chargers. Travis, your final thoughts on tonight? Well, I thought it was a competitive match. I thought both teams definitely played hard, but there were just a couple of moments there. But the third set when really Midland maybe was close enough to have a chance, Dow came up with the big points, the big serves, the, and just made the plays. And... In a, in a sport like volleyball, it just takes four or five points in each set to really decide everything. And Dow definitely was the better team tonight. And uh, congratulations to, to them for their win on senior night. Absolutely. In just a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know these individuals, stop them and tell them thank you. Without their help, we could not bring you high school sports here on MCTV. And uh, this year live on YouTube, this could not be done without the help of several individuals. We are going to call it a night here at Dow High. The Chargers coming away with a victory over Midland, three sets to one. They begin districts on Monday. Midland will begin district play on Wednesday. For our director, Chris Ferguson, and for Travis McCurdy, my name is Jason Harper. Thank you for watching High School Volleyball on MCTV.